Hi, everyone. This week, we celebrate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, when Mary went up to heaven. This week's Gospel is from the Gospel of Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. How does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor upon his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. This week's gospel tells the story of Mary visiting her relative Elizabeth. An amazing thing happened when they met. The baby inside of Elizabeth leaped with excitement with Mary and the baby inside of her. As you may remember, Elizabeth's baby was John the Baptist, and of course Mary's baby was Jesus. So even before being born, John knew that Jesus was special. You may remember that when John first saw Jesus when they were adults, he knew right away that Jesus was special and that while he was baptizing with water, Jesus would baptize with the Spirit. That very spirit was there that day when Mary went to visit Elizabeth. Elizabeth is so excited, she shouts out and tells Mary that she is blessed for trusting in God. Then Mary says some very beautiful things that we call the Magnificat, or the Canticle of Mary. It is written like a hymn, so maybe she sang it. First, she talks about how God has blessed her despite being unimportant by the world's standards. Then she talks about how God has mercy on those who trust him. He helps the people who think they are more important than others to realize they are no better. See, this reminds us of the story of the Tower of Babel, where God scattered the people so they couldn't understand what each other was saying. He helps those with nothing and turns away those with everything. It sounds like God is helping everyone to realize that everyone matters and not anyone more than anyone else. Finally, she talks about how God has continued to take care of his people, whom he promised to take care of since Abraham. Now, you may remember Abraham and Sarah, and God promised that they would have descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And then, You can remember the history of God taking care of his people. Here we have Moses, and God brought his commands, and he promised to take care of them, and he did that with manna. And now finally here we have Mary, and she's remembering all the things that God has done for his people, and now he's right there with her today. Mary's song is really important because it summarizes for us how God takes care of us, not just in giving us what we need, but in teaching us to be humble and respect others as God's children. 
if God is taking care of people that some think are unimportant, they must not be so unimportant after all. This song of Mary's is a good reminder for us. Some people pray it every day. Can you try to pray it every day this week?